Julie Zemelis. And Eric Zemelis. And we're here to talk to you guys a little bit about moving to Hawaii. And um, one of the things that we have heard from people saying, how do I pack and ship my things and how much does it cost? And what's the most effective way to get things to this island? So. So there are, well, many different ways to do that. Uh, we're going to take along what we did on this time. Uh, the trick is, of course, trying to figure out how much stuff you've got, where you're going, and, and your budget, too, because budget does play a lot in this. And first of all, do you want to take your stuff here? Right. And so uh, one of the things when um, I first decided to come to Hawaii, because I told Eric one day, hey, let's move to Hawaii back in like 2005. And I said, let's just make it happen. And I let him basically be my logistics manager on how we were going to make it happen. And the first time we showed up, showed up is we were buying a condo and it basically was already furnished. Um, even though we had to replace everything inside the condo, we came with hockey bags. So eight, that way, eight, eight hockey, hockey bags. There was four of us, and that's as many as you could put on the uh, on the plane without having to pay extra. Right, and you know what was funny, you guys? Um, when we brought all the hockey bags over, um, my daughters just asked the flight attendant when we first got there, what's it going to take to fly first class? And when she found out that we had paid all those baggage fees to get eight big bags on uh, board, she basically said, if you get first class airline tickets, you actually get a chance to like waive all those fees. So we opted for first class when we first came here in 2005. It was a nice way to get here, definitely. <laughs> yeah. So but, so just know that you know if you have enough things that you're bringing over, you could actually look at the cost of your airline ticket versus how much it costs to actually bring things over. Yeah, it might be more now, but, but it, was, yeah. it was great at the time. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, let's, okay. get back, let's get back to it. Okay, so the, there's th we're going to show you a way today. Today, what we did is we did what's called a, it's kind of a, a freight uh, freight forwarding is how it worked. Uh, but there's essentially three different ways to get, get your stuff here. First, number one, of course, is what a lot of people use is, is uh, they, they take their bags on the airplane. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, even at $50 a bag, it, it, uh, it's... It might be worth it. You know what I mean. Depending mm -hmm. on how, if you can keep it low, then it, all your stuff gets here quickly, easily. You know, it doesn't get damaged uh, for for a small amount of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then if, if you go a little bit bigger, then the question is, well, where are you going to go with that? Mm -hmm. So, and that's kind of where we were. We had a a essentially a uh, eight by eight amount of stuff. A, 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 what would be a pod a, a amount and. It wasn't a terrible amount, but it was more than it was. And the other thing you can do is is maybe ship them UPS boxes. But I looked into that, and it's 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 not cheap anymore to do it that way. And, mm -hmm. and it, it is so it was faster to, right. for us to do it. And this um, way. when we sent some stuff over from Lake Tahoe in 2016, um, just so you guys know, I packed a bunch of my plates, and they were smashed. Yeah, because I you went have to USPS. pack them really well. So yeah, if you're gonna send uh, breakable items, I suggest you get them professionally packaged. Because <laughs> I did. failed. We didn't make it very good. <laughs> So anyway, so getting back to that. So then, okay, so that so we have the you know we've got the two options there. And then what what we ended up doing is 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 taking it down to the uh, uh, to the shipping um, Honolulu freight, and they literally put it on a pallet and wrapped it up. And we're going to show you that later in the video. But uh, that's one way, and that's that's a, a reasonable one. But it does require you you know being, having some knowledge of how to pack, and you have to take it down there, and it's not pleasant. It can only be done from the west coast because that's the the, the two ports are. Um, you can have them pick up items at different places. We've had that done. Uh, it tends to run into a, a pretty good amount m amount of money when they do it that way right um, for for doing it it's, it's, it's not a cheap way of going but they can pick it up anywhere in the country you know mm -hmm. uh, put it on a boat and it doesn't matter what size it doesn't have to be a container it doesn't have to have a limited on how much or how big it's just it's just by per volume of doing that right and so um but on that some people um, want to bring their entire house with them and so what you can do is you can have the movers come over, get your stuff, stick everything on a container, have it brought here and unpacked and then loaded for you. And that's the most expensive way to do it, right? Well, it's, it, well, I don't know if it's the most expensive way, but it, I mean, to have it... The, but you can. I mean, you so can, if you yeah. don't want to touch your stuff and you want it to show yeah, up they, here... Yeah, they show up with either a 20 or 40 foot container, right? Mm -hmm. And they, they pack it and they know how to pack it right. Because one of the other things about a container is you kind of have to pack it evenly so it doesn't move around while, while in shipping. That was kind of one of the things. So, you know, so you have to kind of tie some things down and make mm -hmm. it a little bit more so it doesn't go around the... Um, but it, it is an efficient way of doing it, and you can get you know you can get an entire house in there. So, but people always ask, oh, God, can I put my car in the container? And the answer is yes. Oh you yes, can, that's right. You can put your car in the container, but they're still going to charge you for the cost of a car, which is a thousand dollars. So you don't really gain anything by putting your car in the container. It's sort of like, except for the fact it's all in one spot and you can carry it around. And then also remember for the car, if you put your car in the container, you got to get your car out of the container. So you have to be able to have that shipping, you know, that that uh, container, you know, dropped off at a shipping dock that you can drive your car onto. Mm. And I don't know if you've ever seen some of the crazy ways that people have gotten. I've heard of ways of getting people getting their car out of the 
out of the container, but it's always a little it's sketch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you might be better off putting your car on uh, on just on this on the straight boat instead of doing that. Right. So. Um, so okay. So um, uh, pods. Pods. Pods is another way to do it. Um, uh, I looked into there. There, are, you know, uh, there's. I don't know the exact side of their. You know, I'm say five by six, five by eight, something like that is what they are, and they're about six feet tall. Um, I know U-Haul does one, and there's a couple other companies that that, that do them as well. Uh, I, I got a cost from California to here, and it was about um, five thousand dollars for a pod. So that it's it's a good way, and you can pack it yourself, and it, it works out pretty well, and it shows up, and they can even hold it to you if you're if you're having trouble finding your house or whatever. So that's it, it's definitely an alternative. Um, it, it does cost some money. Um, just to put things in perspective, what we did, which was this uh, uh, sh shipping company, is that by us taking our stuff there, it, it was it was ten dollars per cubic foot, and we could bury the cubic feet. So for us, it was much more cheaper than the pot. It was half the pot across the pot, even though it was approximately the same amount of, of stuff that was right. Going over. And um, in that. Um, that basically fit a huge table because I wanted to bring my mom's antique table over yep. uh, with seven chairs and a whole bunch of uh, bins that I've been collecting since I was like you know four and then also um, our artwork and it also had um, memorabilia uh, yeah memorabilia but also like a cot so basically it was the stuff that I didn't want to have to replace over on their side because it was all my irreplaceable items so it's one of those things too when you make the decision about how much is it gonna how much is it really worth to you because shipping things over here ain't cheap but but I will add uh, but one of the beauty is is why you definitely are sort of out in the middle of the ocean kind of by yourself and um, it one of the things that was really comforting to me particularly when we got here is when when our personal car showed up you know what i mean it was something nice to have a, an old friend kind of kind of thing and even that way with your stuff too so you kind of have to weigh out you know even though it does cost some money is it you know it might be worth it to to be able to ship some more stuff over here yeah because so, it makes it feel like home so things to think about so yeah. but we just want to do you know do this video for all those people that are you know contemplating this and saying well what are my options and how am i going to do this yeah right. and uh they're they're out there and it, it, it it's all doable i guess the question is how much can you afford <laughs> right right <laughs> right well, okay so we're telling the cost on this one um so um just to, to basically wrap the, the the things you're gonna see in the video basically it was all of our stuff how much did we spend for that right well it was two pallets right and uh, and they do it by by volume and you'll see in the video that we did uh, it, it turns out to be about uh, 17 um, 170 cubic feet which turns into seventeen hundred dollars which is two pallets uh, four, uh, five by four, approximately stacked about seven, six and a half, seven feet tall. Is, yeah, is, is where we are. And that was the least expensive way that we could possibly have gotten that much stuff over to the island, right? Right. Because mm -hmm. the first quotes we were looking at in terms of putting on the containers were five thousand dollars. Yeah, it can, a container started at around five thousand, yeah. and and that's if you pack it yourself. It, again, depending on where you're coming from. But yeah, that, if you're coming from Minnesota, you're you're it's a different and, story. Because they also charge you for the container, they charge you a delivery charge to drop it off, and a and a de they can't unload it at the port, so you have to drive it someplace here. On top of that, so these are all all all, all questions for it. Mm -hmm. So uh, in the video, we we're, we've got, we've shown you at least you know what that what that part of it is like. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the unloading part of this video, yeah. which was. But we're going to show you some of the things that uh, we got off the thing, so you can kind of see in terms of space wise some of the items that you can like take with you. Right. Um, but also um, with um, my Kona newbies group, if you guys are part of it, or in the. Uh, 365 Kona as I move into Hawaii and buying a house group, um, people are saying, hey, I'm coming at this time. Does anyone want to share a container? So if you want to get in with other people who might be moving from the uh, other parts of the country, um, use Craigslist. Um, you can use my groups and just say, hey, um, if anyone wants to share something, um, people are moving over here, moving off. So just use that as an opportunity. Save some money. Yeah, it would be a lot cheaper, of course. And we did that going uh, when we uh, we also moved off the island uh, uh, for a little while, and we shipped a container off. And it, it was interesting moving off the island. The container was quite a bit cheaper than coming to the island. I guess they've got a lot of extra. They want to move the, yeah, yeah, move the containers, containers back, back to, to the mainland. <laughs> they always come here full, and you have to go back empty. But we shared a container, and then we shared it on top of that. And so, just to give you guys a perspective, um, uh, that was 2016 that we did this, and the container that we had going back was uh, we packed and it was delivered to uh, uh, to Matt's and then shipped over to. Uh, to there and then and then shipped to uh, um, uh, Sunnyvale which was close to the port so it was only uh, that and uh, we were about um, $3,600 total for the a 20 foot container going the other way uh, and we were able to split that so it was for us it was a great great deal going back uh, it's just coming here is a little more tricky getting there yeah so um so okay so you guys were gonna see what us 
packing our things at the uh, Oakland shipyard are going to look like. But if you have any other questions, uh, please feel free to leave it in the comments. I'm also going to put into the comment section or down in the bio a um, link to a moving guide that has all the cool things that you can do to check yourself off in terms of moving. And also I'm going to put a link to my um, Hawaii um, moving resource guide, which has you with um, all the shipping company phone numbers and ways to set up life once you get here. So there's your little gift from 365 Kona. Okay, here we are at Honolulu Freight Service in San Leandro near Oakland, California. And here is all the stuff in our U-Haul. And Eric's going to tell you a little bit about this opportunity to move okay. your stuff to Hawaii. Okay, so the way that they work is that they, they can deliver to your place or pick it up. But they also can, you can drop here at the actual uh, Hawaii Freight Services. They're going to give me a pallet. I'm going to put all this stuff on pallets, packing it as tight as I can go. Then they're going to shrink wrap it all up, do a measurement on it, tell me how much it's going to be. And then they have another facility in Kona where I'll go pick it up at the same way. And so, how much is it going to cost? Uh, it's, uh, they say it's, let's see if we get this right, uh, $10 per cubic foot, okay? okay. Roughly to, to, to Kona. It varies every place you're going to go, so I'm not going to want to say forever. But for us, okay. that's where you're going to go. So to, to, for like, what is that, about two thirds of this U Haul van are, is ours? No, yeah, we have right. all So, this is all so about so this, we're thinking it's about $2,000? We have about, $2, we have about 200 cubic feet. So 2000 bucks. 2000 bucks for this machine. But, okay, and know, what was the original bid? If we were to do a pod with, you know, the, the like a pod, they were, they were quoting almost 5000 and a, a container is somewhere around 60 products. So there's definitely a, a cost to the savings for doing it this way. All right, so maybe saving $3,000, wrap this up yourself, yeah, and drive it down here. up and got it all organized and things like that. Uh, yeah, and it, it's not that hard. It's just shrink wrap and, and blankets and you just want it. Now the trick is how well can I pack it? That's the question. Right, and we'll, uh, we, we'll, we'll, we'll cut back in when I get We'll show you guys. Back. And also, um, U-Haul has amazing uh, packing supplies too if you guys need them. Okay, let's see. Okay, so Eric Zimelis, you just helped make all of that happen. Tell us what's going on here. So the trick with this is to pack tight. So that was again, so we put all the stuff, here's all the unusual pieces and all the boxes went on that side. So uh, we are at 170 cubic feet total for both of those. So doing all right and I packed pretty tight, to make it all happen. And you use the saran wrap to keep it all nice and tight, right? Yeah. And um, these, and then, uh, these things. Yeah, and then they're gonna, uh, tie downs and then they're going to wrap this whole thing with uh, um, shrink wrap before they put it in the boat. So okay. I was going to go do that next. So they're going to come pick us up, put them on the shipping container and we'll see them when? Three or four weeks. There we go. Okay, so pretty good? Yeah. Okay. And after moving on and off this island three times, I finally got all my stuff. So this is all the things that we were able to put on that pallet from Honolulu Freight Company coming out of uh, Oakland. And here's the antique mahogany table that my mom left for me and the matching buffet that I had to bring with me to Hawaii.